Hi again, Mark here from TalkingBase.net. Over the past few weeks, we've looked at some very basic fundamental scales, the major scale and the natural minor scale. This week, we'll expand on that foundation by looking at one of the most common scales in pop and rock music, the minor pentatonic scale. The lesson material for this video is available over at TalkingBase.net. Just follow the link in the info below. And while you're there, just check out the lesson map where you'll find hundreds more free lessons all categorised for ease of navigation. Then, if you subscribe to TalkingBase.net for free, you'll gain access to a whole load of extra base resources and free downloads, like the scale reference ebook. So, go check it out. Okay, so you might have heard this term pentatonic used before. So, what does it mean? Well, a pentatonic scale simply has five notes, and the name is derived from the prefix penta, which means five. A major scale is a seven note scale, so that's a heptatonic scale. So when you hear people talk about pentatonic scales, they're not actually talking about any one scale in particular, it just means a scale with five notes. There are two main pentatonic scales in common use, the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. Today we're going to be looking at the minor pentatonic, so let's just have a look at a basic common fingering starting here on a C, third fret of the A string, so this is going to be a C minor pentatonic scale. So we begin with that C and we can play that with the first finger of the fretting hand, so there's the C. Then we play the E flat, sixth fret of the A string, and that's with the fourth finger of the fretting hand. Then we move on to the D string, play F and then G, so that's third fret then fifth fret, and you can play that with the first finger and then the third finger. Then we move up onto the G string and play B flat and C. So that's 3rd fret, 5th fret again, and again with 1st finger and 3rd finger. So, we play up, and down. Okay, so C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. Okay, so you want to just learn that up and down, and also as a little variation just on the fingering, you can also get by just using the 1st and the 4th finger. So you could play 1st finger, 4th finger, then first finger, fourth finger, first finger, fourth finger. It's completely up to you and it'll all change depending on what the context is. So don't think of these fingerings as being set in stone, you know, first finger, third finger, first finger, third finger. It depends on the context, the bass line, what's going on, okay? So, just try practicing that up and down. So that's a minor pentatonic scale. You want to play it round and round until you get comfortable with that fingering and that fretboard shape. And then you want to just try moving it around. So remember that that shape will stay exactly the same. So if we move it up to let's say a D, fifth thread of the A string, it's exactly the same fretboard shape. G, B flat, just move it around, starting it from different notes there. And as a little bit of an exercise, just to get used to moving it around, you can try just moving up the neck one fret at a time. So I'll show you what I mean by this. So if we play C minor pentatonic, then we move up one fret to C sharp minor pentatonic. Then we can move up to one fret again, up to D. So that's the fifth fret of the A string. Up another fret, up to the D sharp, and just keep working up in that way. All the way until we get back up to the C at the 15th fret of the A string. Okay, so then we go all the way back up to that A string. So we've covered every single one of the uh, minor pentatonics there are from C up to C. Then you can just try coming down again. Etc. until you get back down to C. So very simple exercise, pretty mindless exercise really, but it'll just get you used to seeing that shape and moving it around. The minor pentatonic is a really popular scale used in loads of different rock and pop tunes for both riffs and fills. And uh, you might have also realised that it looks quite similar to the natural minor scale that we covered last week. And it can be quite helpful in some ways to see it as a stripped down minor scale, because in effect that's what we're doing. So uh, the natural minor on C looked like this. So 
we had C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, minor pentatonic, C, E flat, so we've missed out that D there, F, G, they're just the same as the natural minor, then we miss out that A flat there, it goes straight up to the B flat, okay, so natural minor, minor pentatonic, we're simply missing the second and the sixth. By stripping away some of the more emotive and characteristic notes from that natural minor scale, we're leaving a very raw and bold, straight to the point kind of scale. That's just one of the reasons why the minor pentatonic is so popular in so many types of music. It's got that minor edge, but it doesn't fall over into all of that sadness and depression. So let's finish up with a simple riff using that minor pentatonic scale. This riff has a typical pop rock kind of feel and is very reminiscent of some of the lines that you might have heard by Paul McCartney of the Beatles. So here's the riff. So this riff's based on the C minor pentatonic scale that we've already covered, so just play through that to familiarise yourself. And the riff's uh, broken up into two halves. So the first half sounds like this. And then the second half. Okay, so let's have a look at that first half. So we have C, third fret of the A string, and then we jump up to the C, the octave there, fifth fret of the G string and we actually play that twice with that rhythm. Then we drop down to the F third fret of the D string and hammer on to the G fifth fret of the D string. So, okay, so in case you've never hammered on before, you play the first note and then just let the other finger drop down onto the fret, so. Okay, then we play the B flat third fret of the G string and then the C fifth fret of the G string, so. That's the whole of that first half. And with this, you'll be able to see uh, what I meant earlier when I was talking about context deciding on the fingering that you're going to use. So you might be already used to using the first finger and the third finger for the uh, F, G, B flat, C. But in this riff, we have that octave to begin with. And it's much more, uh, well, it feels better usually to play the octave pattern, first finger and fourth finger. So even though with the scale, you might have played it with the third finger, at the start of this riff, we'll be playing it with the fourth finger. Then when you get to the hammer on, you have a choice. You can either play it first finger to third finger or first finger to fourth finger. It doesn't really matter, whichever one works for you. So there, I'm just using first and fourth finger. The second half of this riff is almost identical. But we just add on another little hammer on. So the first part of it is exactly the same. C up to the C octave, F to G. But then when we get to the B flat there, third fret of the G string, we hammer on to the C of the fifth fret. So. Okay, so we've got two hammer-ons one after the other. Hammer on from the F to the G on the D string, and then hammer on from the B flat to the C on the G string. Then finally, we just play that B flat third fret of the G string. Okay, so very slowly, one, two, three, four. Three, four. And again, I'm using the first and the fourth finger for everything. So let's put both of those um, halves together. So two, three, four. So that's the whole riff. So that's the minor pentatonic scale. If you want any more information on that scale, because it is a very, very common scale, I do have some of the lessons devoted to it that show you how to play it in different positions all over the neck, different patterns for it, and also how to apply it using it for fills and things like that. So I'll link to those videos in the info below and I'll see you later.